mini pumpkin banana pancake, mini pumpkin banana pancake bites. Too many words, too wordy. Ready to be mind blown because I just took the cutest viral breakfast trend, made it pumpkin and packed it with protein. You have to try these easy pumpkin banana pancake bites. Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. So I took the viral banana slice pancake bites and transformed it into the coolest fall breakfast. We added some pumpkin and fall spices. So these little pancake bites are not only so adorable and so fun to eat, but they're also packed with protein from the pancake mix and you get the added nutrients and vitamins from the pumpkin puree. If you have picky eaters, like my kids literally only eat frozen pancakes and banana for breakfast, this is kind of the perfect introduction to something new obviously everything is better when it's mini and even better when it's on a stick or a skewer these are so fun to eat it makes meal time a little more interactive okay so let me show you how to make these and as always I'll leave the full written recipe link down below in the video description and really quick if you're not already go hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos okay so this is super fun you just start with a banana and we're gonna slice it into little bite-sized slices I probably need a knife you don't want them too thick but you don't want them too thin either that they're just gonna fall apart. So just like probably a quarter inch is perfect. We got our little banana dippers ready for the batter. So now we're just gonna prepare the pancake batter, dip these little guys and fry them up. All right, so it starts with a cup of pancake mix. You can use any pancake batter. I use the Kodiak Power Cakes because it has extra protein in it. I got this giant box at Costco, but I'll leave a link for you guys if you want to use this one too, but any pancake batter will work. Then we're just gonna add half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. This is optional, you don't have to add it if your kids don't like it. It just adds like a nice warm fall flavor to the batter. And half a cup of pumpkin puree. And just make sure you're not using pumpkin pie mix, that you're just using the 100% Pure pumpkin, no added sugars or anything to it, just pure pumpkin here. Last we had half a cup of water. Now we're just gonna stir this all together. And that was it, that is the pancake batter that we're gonna dip our little bananas into. So easy. And just like any pancake batter, don't over mix it. You just wanna mix it until it's just combined. So the consistency is gonna be just slightly thicker than pancake batter, just like that. If it's a little thinner, that's fine. Just your pancake around the banana is gonna be a little thinner. All right, now let's go fry these bananas up. Okay, so you're just gonna grease your pan with a little butter or nonstick cooking spray, and then just take a little piece of banana and dip it right into your batter. And you're just gonna fully coat them and put them on one by one. And this is the reason we wanted the batter nice and thick, so they get like a really nice thick coating of pancake. All right, and then once you see they started to brown on the bottom, just give them a little flip. And because these are so thick, you just wanna make sure the heat is low enough to where it's not scorching the tops and bottoms without cooking through the middle. So we're just gonna cook these about two to three minutes per side until they're nice and golden brown and the edges, the sides, are fully cooked and set. And if you want, you can use gluten-free pancake mix to make these gluten-free. You hear the sizzle? These are gonna be so good. Okay, once they're fully cooked, we're just gonna transfer them to a little serving dish. They're golden brown. You can smell the pumpkin spice. I might have to make another batch for my kids because I don't think there's gonna be any leftover for them after I give these a try. So depending on the size of your banana, you're gonna get about like a dozen slices per banana. Um, and the batter makes enough to do like two, three bananas depending on the size of your banana. Okay, now top this with a coarse maple syrup and we're gonna dig in. I'm so excited. Okay, how good did these turn out, you guys? Are these not the cutest little things you've ever seen? What kid is not gonna love these? My kids literally eat like frozen pancakes and bananas every day. So this is kind of a fun, fresh twist on their usual breakfast. So it's familiar items that I know they're gonna eat and love. And plus you get the added vitamins and nutrients from the pumpkin in the batter. And who doesn't love things bite-sized? So a really fun way to serve these to kids is using little toothpicks. And these make it so much fun to eat. Look how cute these little pancake poppers are. Mmm, mmm. You guys, you get the crispy, fluffy pancake on the outside, and the banana on the inside has almost started to melt. So it just melts in your mouth. The pumpkin, the banana, all the flavors meld together. These are so good. And if you want, you can dust them with a little cinnamon just for a little finishing touch. It just makes it look pretty. You can also do powdered sugar if you want to. Honestly, how cute did these turn out? 
Like, you guys, how cute and fun are these? If you give them a try, be sure to tag me in a picture on social media at the Lindsay Ann, and don't forget to share this video with somebody who you know would totally love these too. Mm. Mm. This is so good. Now I'm not in here. There is banana in there. And if for some reason you have leftovers or you just wanna make like a massive batch to keep in the freezer, freeze them like this and then pop them in a freezer safe Ziploc baggie and you can store them in the freezer and then just take them out as many as you want that morning, heat them up and you've got breakfast in no time. And if you guys like this video, be sure to tap the thumbs up so I know to make more just like it so we can make more viral food trends with a twist. So there you have my pumpkin banana pancake bites. Now go check out all my other videos because if you like this one, you're gonna love those too. All right guys, thanks so much for watching till the end and I'll see you right here next time for more kid snacks and mom hacks. You guys, the banana on the inside when you cook it almost melts into like this sweet syrupy yumminess and then you get the fluffy crispy pancake on the outside. They're so good. I've had like a million of them already. Look at that. You have to try it. They're so easy. You really have